Hi guys, it is Reaper Shadow Reaper here, and today, as you can see by the thumbnail, title, and on your screen, we are playing some Back to the Future, and what I might just call it is Back to the Future, with the to bar, that you're going to the bar, going to the shops, we're going Back to the Future. Well, I might just leave it is pretty shit, but you know, um, this is free with gold. Starting from today, they're recording 16th of December. Ten, nine, eight, nine, eight, look, nine days till Christmas. Proper crimbo. So let's get right into it. I never played this game in my life. Why am I talking posh? Apparently, it's a Telltale game, but and I love my Telltale games. Yeah, you can tell it's a Telltale game. Just play a video. Like we needed him, but we got him to do the cameo, which is awesome. And I almost feel like that was a really 
what was the cooler use of him nowadays? But then the search turned to how do we find someone to do a Marty who can just come in and be our main character? And it was a really big worry for a while. I voiced Marty McFly in the next piece of the game. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Fresher, yeah. You could be like, oh, you know that amazing, iconic role that everyone loves and knows and can quote lines from, and that incredibly famous, wonderful actor, Michael J. Fox. You can just replicate that. That's what I had going on in the back of my head. So yeah, it was a lot, a lot of pressure. Uh, at one point, we got an email from our accountant who said that she had gotten an email in MP3 from some kid who said he would like to be Marty in the Back to the Future game. I heard about this. I saw a news article, Telltale tell Games, making... Jurassic Park into a game. I was like, wow, that looks awesome. I would love to be, you know, the voice of Marty McFly, but there's that no way in hell that's going to happen. And at the time, Telltale was a lot smaller, so you just have to Google Telltale for like a list of phone numbers. And um, Rhoda was uh, the first name that popped up, so I called her and I left a message that was basically this nerdy, like, hey, my name is Dave Locasio. I do a great Marty. You know, I tried to sound as much like Marty as I could. It's my identity to have this role. But I remember the, it going across someone's desk, them hearing this audition and just saying, man, this kid sounds exactly like Michael J. Fox when he was young. Doc, you gotta listen to me. The bruise, the bruise on your head, I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. It was almost no discussion. It was just kind of, yeah, we heard that MP3 that I think he recorded on like a rock band microphone. It was like, it was just insane. But it was that good. AJ's Morty McFly is Sam McFly. I heard his voice. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I listened to it, and if I didn't know that this was not Michael, I would have assumed it was. He was such a crucial piece to have that energy throughout the entire series. Um, <coughs> I was obsessed with the movie growing up, like, obsessed with Back to the Future. So it was like, it was something that was always in the back of my head. It was just a silly party trick that, you know, what went from a social thing to party trick to becoming very useful. <laughs> so, Jennifer, uh -huh. what do you think of me? I don't. Working on this from a fan perspective was the most pressure I've ever felt on anything. Trying to invent a way where we can pull you along through the story and then use dialogue options where you get to choose what Marty's going to say. And I think that's the kind of hook for us is giving you a situation and then saying, well, here's three different ways or four different ways that Marty could possibly react you were playing Marty, what would you do? And I think it allows people to really offer their own story. Telltale's Back to the Future game is the only game that deserves this type of game. It was very true to the spirit of the movies. The voice acting was terrific. The characterization is great. And with the new consoles, the game is just going to sparkle and jump off the screen. Bringing this game to a new generation, even though it's not that old, is actually super exciting. Like getting to debut it again on all the new platforms. Um, Telltale's got a lot bigger of a fan base now, and there's a lot of people who probably didn't know that we made this game. Um, but it's still got a lot of the same core principles that are common to Telltale game. You know, we're taking this thing that's super familiar, and we're putting our own story in it and allowing you to play it. So um, in time with the 30th anniversary of the films, now we're getting to kind of add to what's out there in the media and saying like, you know, you're rebuying the movie again and watching it is a game you might enjoy as well. And it's kind of, you know, watch the movies first, get back in nostalgia, and then right after the movie ends, you can hop in the game and continue the story from there. Holy fucking shit guys. I didn't expect the video to be that long. Um, pretty interesting now they did it to be honest had some of the voice actors and that was pretty cool I I, I, I love the Back to the Future movies I don't bum off them I watched them in the world but I love them like, they were great series and recently in GTA 5 in the life of shop date of the Doomsday Heist the fucking car I forgot the name of it the Back to the Future car that car right there that you see Marty looking at like what the fuck do you do you know and um, yeah that's it and you can fly and shit so let's start episode one. It's about time. <laughs> Stop. 
starring Telltale Games. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Sit down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check that. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. That thing goes up to the car. Watch this. Yeah, good. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. My calculations are correct. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. You're going to see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. Needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left of the two seat, Dr. Toolbox. Deja Mari. Perfectly repeated dog dog while we're working on his dinner. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Notebook, notebook. 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 Notebook, in this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. Mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Is he dead? Is that what happens in the films? 
Back to the future, the game. Episode one is about time. State sale, May 14th, 1986. Do it so I'm putting on this folks old voice by land. Those so items are only allowed to make sure the box doesn't leave anything dangerous around. Well. Dog feeder, no. Nope. Television, no. Nope. Uh -uh. Always that dangerous, to be honest. Locks are made dangerous on there. They're quite fussy. Dog stuff is being a cow. Yeah, whatever that word says, off. You'd better search the lap. Make sure something dangerous doesn't fall into the wrong hand. Like, say, this. Square model. Amplify it. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. What are some jerks going to pick it up for pay? I want to speak to George. Let's make some noise. How loud is it going to be? Warning headphone users. I repeat, warning headphone users. Feed could be pretty dangerous. Hey, let's see. Now, kid, leave Marty alone. It's a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Yeah, sorry, Marty. Mm. 
model of Hill Valley. Town Square model. Gas or anything. That head thing. Seems like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, yeah, I guess it was. Mind reading helm. Top built this model at downtown Hills Valley. Way back in 1955. Top tower of the courthouse even worked. Is that guy's notebook in there? Looks just like the courthouse. He's got a hand seal too. What's good with his hands? Uh. Say, take it off him. Shit. Fuck's sake, you're my man's lag. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Ah, uh, never mind. You can tell your papa. Wake up, George! Yeah, so could Martin George. Mm. I guess you can. Okay, son, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. You know where to find me. Problem? Ship? I got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you, oh, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. We found it first, but... Well, 
Fucking hell, mate. Where's George? Hey, Biff. Oh, Biff, eight. Just tell you to keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Oh, uh, in a way. I'll fix my computer. I paid it for it. Oh, fuck, I'm a dude. Oh! More invasion skin. The amplifier. Forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. Why some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies? No one went for stuff. I better not crank it up. Fuck's sake, just, you, you know. Hey Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the best. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Just an easy day. Let's go. Here we go. Here's an oldie. Quite a goodie. One, two, three. Hey, look! It's Chuck Bush. Let me show you how it's done. Now watch me. Warning headphone users. Is that him? He's just in the doorway. Oh fuck, it's destroyed. Doc, mate, where am ya? Handheld type record Alex, I've looked at that bad boy.
trouble. Come on, come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Time, let's go. Looks like the time circuit still works. I don't even know when he looked at What is that? The number panel thing we get. There we go. I can use those to enter the date into the time circuits. But once I know when to look for Doc. Use those to enter a date into the time circuit. Fuck off. I don't mean to press that you slack. I can use those to enter a date Apparently, into the time circuit. Once I know when to look for Doc. I need a hint. I highly feel stupid. Oh! Shoot. Traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Look in it, then you fucking cunt. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Fuck off. Okay, if I go back in the DeLorean. Nah, I don't think so. What do you know about this shoe, Ainey? Oh. Great Scott, I think he's onto something. This is a bit confusing. In this building. It's locked. Maybe not. Not sure what that. Not sure what that. Not sure what that. Not sure what that. Why the fuck do I need to go? Not sure what that. Okay, door. Not sure what that. The statement. Einstein smells awfully interested in that door. Why are you pressing the buzzer? I fucking have. Fuck Mike's out, do fall now because you'll break. You're already see a glued twat. I am back, guys. We're pressing the buzzer. Press it, bitch. Step away from the door, sir. Now, let me get a look inside. Einstein, come on. This guy, that's been cool again. Get him off now. Yes. Can you let 
It's the ex girlfriend of Marty McFlow because they, not Marty Doc, because in the film they have a lover or something like that. So, yeah, the lover in the second film.
is somewhere in these stacks. There must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Actually, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Can you believe what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. So I want to mention some of your business. Zoomed in it. I'll look in the newspapers. Let's go. Don't touch those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. What the fuck can I do? Two door maybe. I would say anyway. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Man, it keeps it hot in here. Maybe we can look in the newspapers. Juveniles collide with manure truck. Huh. Nice picture. Must get a hint. And the lost her shoe during the age of previous Yeah. When an illegal drinking establishment burnt down. What went to in its place? So guys, I'm thinking of ending this video here. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I have been your boy Shadow. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm thinking and of ending this video here. Please. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I have I've been your boy Shadow Reaper. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you. Oh, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. I've been your boy Shadow Reaper. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you. That's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. I'll see you over the next one. Peace. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you over the next one. Peace. That's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. I'll see you over the next one. Peace.